According to NHTSA, more than 11,000 drivers were killed in 2020 because of a drunk driver. Just last year, a drunk driver in California collided head on into another car, killing both the adult drivers and seven children. NTSB officials say it could have been prevented had there been an alcohol detection system in the drunk driver's car. And Elizabeth Carey with AAA says it could prevent a lot more deaths on the road. There's technology that's available to determine if a driver's drowsy, if they're disengaged, if they're using alcohol, if they're impaired. Um, it's just a matter of time until automakers start to implement all this technology. So how would this work? NHTSA and 16 automakers are already funding research through two different companies. One is a Swedish company researching breath detection through sensors, not a breathalyzer. The other company is looking into light tech, which would test blood alcohol through your finger. And if a person doesn't have below a 0 0.05 BAC, their car won't start. AAA doesn't expect every driver to be open to the idea. Based on what we've seen in the past, there'll probably be a lot of opposition to this because people feel as though it in infringes on their rights. Uh, they want to say that, you know, the car shouldn't be telling them what to do. Uh, maybe they don't drink alcohol at all. Why are they assuming that they might be using alcohol? But again, this technology is out there. There's also questions about how this would impact older cars. However, she says responsibility ultimately falls back onto everyone behind the wheel. Everyone just needs to be safe and make sure that they're planning ahead when they're going out and they plan to be drinking. And then TSB can only recommend this. NISTA would have to enact it before it becomes law. And right now, breath tech isn't expected to be ready until 2024. And the light and touch tech isn't expected to be ready until 2025. And even then, it would take years before all 280 million cars on the road would all have the detection systems. In the Information Center, Danielle Church, Channel 2 News.